pretty sure we're rolling. Hi everybody. So today we are going to talk about common misconceptions for getting a voiceover agent and uh, where you get one, how you get one, and a couple things that uh, everybody should know before they go looking for one. Because there are so many things to know about having an agent, we're gonna split this video up. Everything I do, I do based on all the things I've learned in the last 15 years in this industry, so <laughs> you might wanna take notes. So what we're gonna talk about is the definition of agencies and uh, which one you're looking for. Two, how to get one. It doesn't mean you will get one, but I'll show you what you have to do to get one. There are a lot of different ways to get an agent, um, but it is tough. So we're gonna start with the basics of a really good way to go about it. And I say common misconceptions because you can't believe how many people don't know these sort of common industry known, well-known facts except for the part where you wouldn't really know these things unless you had an agent. It's a weird, the whole industry is a catch-22, but let's get around that and get straight to the meat of what we're talking about. First things first, what people don't really know or understand is that there's really no such thing as a voiceover agent period. What there is, is a commercial agent. There are a couple different kinds of agencies. There's a modeling agency, there's a legit agency and there's a commercial agency. So the way that you're going to get a commercial agent is one, if you are SAG-AFTRA, you're going to be looking for a union commercial agent. If you're non-union, you're going to be looking for a non-union agent. A couple different ways that you can meet uh, a commercial agent is you do have to go to the network pay to plays. The way that you would meet these casting directors is the same way you would meet these agents through a pay to play or through a networking event of some kind. Or the other way to get a meeting with a with an agent is to um, either one have a referral from a friend or a referral through a casting director. If a friend gets you in the door, great. Make sure that they're not competition. Don't go asking your you know if you look like me. Don't go asking your fabulously good-looking blonde bestie uh, to recommend you to that agency because even though she has your dream agent, she's your competition. Don't put your friend through that. So someone that doesn't look anything like you, that's a great start. Opposite sex, even better. If you get one of these meetings, the things that you're gonna have to go in ready to have are the following. If they're a commercial agent, they need to know that they can also send you out for commercial auditions on camera and they will. So you need a resume that says that you're an amazing, world's greatest, wonderful actor uh, who you've trained and studied with. This is why you also have to have a headshot. So you have to show that you're a working actor professional, that you're serious on camera and behind the mic, that you have a commercial demo that proves all of these great things. If you can get a recommendation through a casting director, wonderful. This is why you want to know these casting directors because they can call up the agents they work with and go, hey, you should see this talent because if you sent me this talent for an audition submission, I'd bring them in in a second, right? So that's why, that's why everybody knowing everybody is the networking circle you want to be in. You want to know the casting directors that that agency works with. And that's really pretty much it. I hope these tips were super helpful. Be sure to hit subscribe. Stay in the know for all things VO. And subscribe if you want me to be in your life. <laughs> Check out nycvocoach.com for all my other tips and tricks and all sorts of things or just hang out here on my page. Uh, that's cool too. Um, all right, I'll see you next time.